excited for this week. Why is that? For Earth Day. Earth Day? Yeah. It's my, my second favorite day of the year. First, my birthday. Second, Earth Day. I've never heard of that. When did that all start? Um, well, it actually started back in 1969 when a, um, oh, it was in the United Nations. A man named John McConnell, he was a peace activist. He started the whole tradition. And then a second Earth Day was actually founded in the late 1960s by Gaylord Nelson. He was a U.S. politician. He started it as an environmental teacher. And it's actually celebrated now in most countries every year on April 22nd. It's a time to, you know, take care, remember about taking care of the earth. So, reducing, reusing, and recycling, things that we have to do every day. It's a time just to really remember that. I've never heard of those things. Of, re of recycling? Uh -uh. Reducing? No. Oh my. We have a lot of learning to do. I'm going to have to teach you all about this. You better. It's very important. First, I'll tell you about reducing. It's a very simple thing. What type of things do you think you could reduce? I don't know. Like electricity. If you're not in a room anymore, you don't need to have the lights on. You can turn them off. It's a good point. Or gas. If you don't need to drive your car someplace, you can just walk or ride your bike. You know? True. And like, say, Luther, if they didn't have those calf trays, oh, yeah. it would definitely reduce the amount of food that people wasted. It's all, it's all just so simple. Do you think you understand? Totally. Well, I'm going to the grocery store now. Do you need anything? Um, yeah, give me some ice cream. I'm dying for some. Okay, go quick. See you later. Alright, see ya. Walk home again. Oh. I'm back. Hello? Who is it? Hello? Who is it? Rachel? Where are you? Oh, I'm over here. Oh, hi. Hi. I don't know what's wrong. The electricity went out and I can't get it to come back on. Oh. Know. I've been sitting here in the dark all night. I'm glad I found this flashlight. Yeah, I called the electrical company today and I told them to shut our electricity off. Are you kidding me? So we don't have any light? We need to have light at night. It gets dark in here. Oops. Oh, where <laughs> have you been anyway? I was at the grocery store. You left like eight hours ago. I know. But you know what? What? It was closed. Why did it take you so long to get there? I walked. You walked? It's like, that's a long trip, like 10 miles. Yeah, I was reducing our gas. <sighs> You're going way overboard with all this reducing stuff. Next, we'll be talking about reusing. It means using something again. So, you could reuse pop bottles, put some water in there. You could reuse paper. You could reuse plastic bags. The possibilities are pretty much endless. I mean, think about it. Yeah, yeah, I got it. I reuse all the time. Mm.
nothing like Oreos and milk after a long day at work. Mmm. I prefer popping and Cheetos. Yeah. Oh my gosh. What? That milk, it tastes horrible. It's like, I don't know, Cheerios? It tastes like Cheerios. Yeah. Try it. No, that's what I had for my cereal. You had this milk on your cereal? Yeah. You told me to reuse. Oh, not, not your milk. Yuck, that's so gross. What else do you want me to reuse? All the things that we talked about reusing. Not food. This is so hard. That's what she said. Well, it's laundry day. Good thing I'm a lot of underwear. Do you have any clothes today? No, I'm good. You're good? You don't have anything? Well, I've been wearing the same pair of underwear all week. All week? Yuck. Yeah. Yeah, I'm sure catching on to this reusing business. Oh, man. You know, recycling, it, it's really just a simple thing. The first thing you've got to do is get yourself a recycling bin. That's a big box. Yeah, it's just a big plastic bin. It's so simple. Then you take that milk jug that I saw you throwing away today. It's recyclable. Put it in there. Simple enough. You threw this away last night. Those fruit snacks? Mm -mm. That's recyclable. You don't put that in the garbage. Oh, and another thing. All that coffee you've been drinking lately? It's all recyclable. Just drop it in. And that's all there is to it. Here's something for the bin. What? The baby? Yeah. No. Why would you recycle a baby? Because he's in a stinky diaper. Oh, come on. You know you have to change the stinky diaper. You can't recycle a baby because he has a stinky diaper. Is he plastic? No. Is he made of cardboard? I don't think so. No. So you can't recycle him. You've got to change his diaper. And it goes in the garbage. Oh. Where's the bin? The recycling bin? Yeah, I want to recycle this computer. Recycle it? Why? Because I want a new one. Oh, don't recycle it. You can sell this thing on eBay for hundreds of dollars. You kidding me? Honestly. Oh, never mind then. Yeah. Recycling doesn't pay very well. Well, that's all I have for you this week. I learned a lot. I'm sure you did. <laughs> all about the three R's. Reduce, reuse, recycle. Always remember them. Bye. We got three R's we're gonna talk about today. We got to learn to reduce, reuse, recycle. Reduce, reuse, recycle. Reduce, reuse, recycle. Reduce, reuse, recycle. Well, if you go to the market to buy some juice, you gotta bring your own bags and you learn to reduce your weight. Cause three, it's a magic number. Yes, it is. I can't believe that girl almost threw me into the recycle bin. Gosh, you would think she would know better. My poopy diapers go in the garbage.